Mancandy's arms are set up in the same way as Mancandy's legs, for the most part. However, there are some differences. One of those differences is because um, Mancandy's legs are always animated in IK. So, moving the torso does not cause the feet to move, and moving the feet causes the entire chain to move to match that motion. Furthermore, if you animate the foot, for instance, between this location and this location, you can see that it moves in a straight line between the two points. That's IK animation on the foot. Now if you look at the arms, we'll see that they're in a FK position by default. So, animating the arm means rotating these bones rather than moving an FK to IK target. So, if I key in this position and then key in this position, you'll see that the hand moves along in an arc due to the FK animation. Let's put a view and have an action editor open. You'll see that the act of adding keys here created a default action on Mancandy with the name action.001. Let's erase that, thus getting rid of that animation. And let's clear everything to the default rotation and location positions. One interesting thing about the arms is that there is an extra constraint on the hand called a targetless IK constraint. I'll delete it and re-add it so you can see what it does. Basically, selecting the hand bone and hitting Control i gives me the option to add a targetless IK constraint. And before it's ready for use, I have to tweak it a bit because this is not the effect I want from it. So I'll uncheck Use Tip and make the chain length 2. Basically, it looks like I'm using IK for positioning the hand. In actuality, this is still an FK controlled chain. And for instance, even if I move the hand here, I can still rotate these bones, unlike with IK. However, what this targetless FK does, IK does, is that it gives me a shortcut to posing the hand if I don't want to rotate each joint independently. So targetless IK only works in transform and not for interpolation. Normal transform in FKA is, is achieved by rotating each joint and even scaling it if you wish to get the stretchy arm effect similar to the stretchy leg effect in IK. However, there are some cases where you would like to animate the hands in, in IK instead of FK. And the way to do that is to have an animated constraint, or at least a switchable constraint in the case you don't need to animate the effect. If we look at the arm bones, the bicep has an IK constraint on it with an influence of zero, as does, as does the forearm, and the hand has a copy rotation with an influence of zero. Turning these influences up to one, places our entire chain in IK mode. And the bones to control the arm chain in IK are located in this layer. There's nothing super special about these IK constraints. They're very similar to the IK set up on the legs. This bone allows us to rotate the elbow, and this bone allows us to position and rotate the arm. And so that way you can easily animate man candy in IK or FK depending on the situation. But what if you wanted to animate man candy going from IK to FK and back? How would you do that? Well, let's have a look. It would be cool if we could animate this influence on these constraints. And we can do that pretty easily. If we open an IPO window editor 
and switch it to constraint, we'll see what happens. We can pull the influence down to zero and hit key. And you'll see we created a curve with a keyframe at zero at frame one. We can move to frame 10 or frame 11, turn the influence up to one and key it. So now we have a curve that goes between IK and FK. And you can demonstrate that pretty easily. If I grab this bone here and rotate it, nothing happens. However, once I go into the FK mode, you can see that the joint tries to rotate. I'll turn these down to FK to make that more, more obvious. So you can see the IK constraint becoming effective because of the animated constraint. Notice that there's no actual transformation animation on the bone itself. It's just that the constraint influences animating between 0 and 1. So that's how we can, in principle, do our IKFK animation. However, it would be nice to have that controlled by an external object or a control that lets you just click on the screen, such as this slider here, and just move between IK and FK easily.